calling bitches is calling bitches is complicated. Bro. What's complicated? This. What's complicated? You see what you doing? What's complicated? Why are you doing it? Cause what's complicated? Huh? <laughs> why you why you texting Destiny for? I didn't text. She didn't text me. It don't, it don't matter. <laughs> what? Yeah, boy, that's the domestic violence shit right there. You don't ever want to be in no situation like this. But as you can see, I guess they said, oh, boy, put on Facebook. This relationship status complicated. I mean, if it's complicated, you should have did. You knew you got you a crazy-ass girlfriend or whoever she is. You shouldn't have put it on Facebook. You know how she going to get. I, I have seen relationships like this. I know people that's in relationships like this. And some of them, they, these niggas, some of them, they live in the same house. I, I bet this couple right here, they live in the same house. And they talk shit about each other online. Yeah, I can't stand that ragged ass nigga. He need to go get a job just talking about him. And y'all in the same goddamn house. And I know people that do that. Now, she probably full of that booms for him, that cheap ass liquor. And her emotion has got, has got the best of them. She don't know how to act, uh, civilize in public. A minute to goddamn society. That's what it is, man. She needed. She need Jesus. She need to go to church. She need to get saved. She need to get drowned in holy water. You need to go to church every Sunday. Go to Bible study. Go to church throughout the week. And say rebuke me. You need to get rebuked. But this right here, this not. This is this is not a healthy relationship right here. This is not healthy. I don't see nothing healthy about this at all. See y'all. Just people don't know. Relationship like this, this, this shit can kill your ass. And y'all just think y'all just keep on putting that stress on your shoulder and just carrying that weight load, carrying that that gorilla. And you ain't carrying no muck on your back. You carrying the goddamn gorilla. You carrying that big silver back on your back every day. You just like, oh, bitch, I'm tired of this shit. And you not doing nothing about it. If you been weak about this shit, you just go and you go crying and whining and complaining on social media. And you not doing nothing about the situation. You brought it up upon yourself because you have plenty of opportunities to get out. I know y'all might know, damn, who he talking about? I am talking about somebody, but I ain't gonna say those names, but I just seen this, it just, it reminded me of some people, man. But yeah, if you in a relationship like this, whether you're a man or you're a woman, you need to get the hell away from them. I know some of y'all think I, I can't find nobody like that. No, you're, you're not gonna find nobody like that. You're gonna find somebody that's better for you. Because people like this, they don't, they don't want the best for you. They gonna cop block, they gonna do any and everything. They don't wanna see you happy with nobody. So yeah, man, y'all just gotta build your man, you gotta build your nuts up, women. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta get away from it, man. You gotta move away, especially women. This is a lot of domestic violence going on. Y'all just have to get away from that man for real though. Put a restraining order, all that stuff. Some of them, you know, sometimes they don't care about that. But yeah, man, this is crazy right here. People should have to go through this, but you know, some people they they be so weak they can't they can't get out of it. Anyway, I'm out. I'm here. ET Watch. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Go to my YouTube playlist, my videos. And I'm out. Peace. Guys, enjoy the rest of my day. Massage A1. Oh, yeah. Share my stuff on Facebook. My videos on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. All that good stuff. I'm out. Peace.